So this is the first ever Transformer Slag Patreon listener question of the new year. And once again, if you are interested in being part of the Transformer Slag Patreon, be sure to check the description below, patreon.com forward slash protoman. You can get your name in the end credit scroll at the end of every segment moving forward. Get access to the awesome Transformer Slag Patreon Discord that is only available to the Patreon crew. We post a lot of cool stuff there from cool deals, links, all kinds of little insider stuff in collecting in the fandom, even rare content, Transformers lore. Just a cool place to come and chat about Transformers. Also, depending on what tier you're part of, you also might even get a gift box in the mail shipping on us. Uh, A lot of cool Transformer product also in there and a lot of cool little Transformer stuff. And of course, like today, the Patreon listener question. Today's Patreon listener question comes from Brian DF, our Primus tier patron. And he wants to know, Hey, Proto Man, I saw your post on Twitter for the 2021 lineup of Transformers for this year. Of what products that are going to be coming out, what is the ones that most interest you or you're the most excited about to get? Happy New Year and keep up the great work. So essentially what Brian's referring to is he saw my Twitter post that I did, I think it was two days ago, where I listed all the coding of all the stuff thus far that's confirmed for Transformer product for 2021. I think some stuff was left out, obviously, like uh, Studio Series main movie stuff and obviously Bot Bots and Cyberverse because a lot of that stuff isn't confirmed 100%. But it's primarily most of Kingdom, Studio Series 86, the Netflix stuff that also rolls over into 2021. Um, And there's a lot of really cool stuff there. There's a lot of really cool stuff there. Me personally, what I think I want to do is I wanted that also the listeners could participate. And Brian, you should have also uh, said what you were interested in. Post it in the uh, in the comments below what you're interested in, and uh, and I'll uh, pin you to it. So essentially, like of of the new stuff that's coming next year, the the stuff that really interests me is the stuff that's going to be either reinventing the wheel or stuff that's going to be a first time for a character done properly. I mean, when you have as much as I have, you really want something that's going to be new and different. So, like, to give an example, like, that Kingdom Deluxe Class Air Razor, you know, that's a character that desperately needed a new toy done in that proper style. And every photo shoot that I see, it keeps making me want it even more. The fact that now it's been kind of confirmed that even the wings tuck in really good in the back and stuff and give it a more show-accurate mainframe model design, mm-hmm. Looks amazing. Looks amazing. Super excited about her. Really cool. I'm even more excited to see what they're going to do with that mold or tooling afterwards because that's a real open canvas in a lot of ways. Another one is the Deluxe uh, Huffer. Deluxe Huffer, man, and his his future repaint, retool counterpart of Pipes, both of them, I'm really excited about. We haven't seen Pipes yet, but if Huffer is any indication of how Pipes is going to be, I'm super excited about Huffer looks amazing again another character that just was long overdue for a decent figure so really excited about that I have a soft spot for a lot of those Autobot mini bots and whenever we get a really good iteration of them I'm just pleased as heck like when Cliff Jumper happened I was happy I can't wait for when they finally revisit let's say Brawn and and Outback like those are going to be so cool to see too so the pipes I can't wait Uh, Another like pairing in a lot of ways is because we already saw what the Voyager scale Kingdom Dinobot looks like. And even though I have the masterpiece, I still want to get this one because I really want to get a hands on feel of what's going on from an engineering standpoint and how they could go from a masterpiece like near $300 item and parse it down to a Voyager price point and see what has to be sacrificed from a paint standpoint. I mean, there's images online, but again, I want to have it in person and really get a better idea of what's going on here and same thing much like how we've seen Dinobot I'm really curious in his Voyager counterpart of Tigatron how they're going to do the same Tigatron is confirmed through listings that he is going to be part of it but how are they going to bring it down like he's clearly not going to be a Cheetor repaint it's going to be his own mold is he going to be a mini masterpiece just like that of Dinobot was from his masterpiece release. Tigatron had a masterpiece just a couple of months ago. And 
pretty good masterpiece, but you know, could be expensive for a lot of people. So really curious how that's going to be comparable too, because man, Tigatron is a really cool character, and to get a a decent toy of him in retail after so many years, he hasn't had a retail toy since like technically his his robot heroes figure i guess you know like it's been that long and that one doesn't even transform so it's been a while it's been a while long overdue for a western u.s tigatron toy to hit retail again love it i'm excited about that uh galvatron that leader class galvatron just because like we've been struggling to get a a good galvatron toy in retail I mean, when you look at the old Classics Universe one, people didn't feel it, and the Deluxe, maybe the price point was too small. When we got the Voyager scale, people didn't like the Titan Master gimmick and how it made that mask kind of thing, and third party had to like step in and kind of fix it in a lot of ways. Uh, I mean, the good thing out of that mold is we got Super Megatron out of it, so it can't be all that bad. And, uh, and I mean, this one here is a leader class. I'm curious if it's going to be too big or too small, but I'm still very excited to see what happens because... I need a Galvatron for my Rodimus. <laughs> you know, I need I need a good Galvatron figure to battle my Rodimus Prime. You know, that's kind of at the end of the day, it's your display. And you need to have that for your Transformers Season 3, late 86 movie, Transformers 2010 kind of display. So yeah, there's that. Um, as for everything else, like Studio Series 86, I mean, all of that speaks to me. So all of that interests me from, you know, Cup, Blur, Hot Rod, Scourge, Grimlock, Jazz. That's all, you know, I love 86 movies. So every single one of those releases has my attention. And even the future stuff that's still been rumored, like the slag with the Daniel and everything like that. All of that stuff interests me. Uh, the Masterpiece stuff, all that we really know 100% at this point is Skids. Looks interesting to me. But I'm still going to wait for more information, more images, more pictures. So I'm not exactly uh, putting all my chips in just yet on that one, especially the price, too. Uh, BotBots, we don't know what's happening next year. Well, excuse me, this year for BotBots. I mean, we know we have a show, so how is that going to affect the product and the shift of everything going forward? It'll be yet to see. Some BotBot stuff speaks to me when it's a really out there, fun design. I go out of my, like, you know, the Arcade Renegades. You know, that was like a day one purchase. You know, there's always really cool little stuff that they do. And uh, if they continue that, they'll always get my money. I don't buy everything, but I buy the little things that are cool. Those are like the cheapest purchases, but they're also some of the most um, charming in a lot of ways with Transformers. So we'll see what 2021 brings us with BotBots and the new TV series and how that'll affect that. The Buzzworthy Bumblebee stuff, the only thing that has interest for me is that core class Bumblebee with Spike. Just because it's, you know, I, I get bumper in a lot of ways from that. Maybe the, a third party company is going to make a new head sculpt that I could slap on there. Um, but also, you get that little core class, you know, mini spike figure. So that speaks to me, but everything else is kind of a skipper. But that's really about it. Um, I might be forgetting something, but in general, that's kind of the stuff that right now I'm really excited about. And again, anyone who's listening, if you don't know, like, pretty much what is planned for 2021 go on my twitter it should be one of my recent posts and uh, then uh, let let me know in the comments of this segment below what you think is the most exciting product to pick up this year for you because there's there's so much cool stuff at as of this point just that list that's 52 products obviously there's stuff missing from there like the commander class and and the uh the titan class and everything that's happening with studio series and bot bots and whatever cyberverse will be doing but in general i mean it's pretty much what's going to be covering most of already this year with a few exceptions here and there but let me know what you think really cool stuff i'm really excited about this year this is this is the year of the beasts so if you're a 90s kid that grew up on beast wars i was an 80s kid who grew up on g1 but if you're a 90s kid that grew up on beast wars this is your year this is your year in so many ways but if you're still even then if you're a kid who grew up on the 86 movie like i did you have studio series 86 so if, i feel like two generations are getting everything that they wanted more or less this year so this is going to be a great year for transformers